In this video, I will show you very shortly how you can use the planning worksheet to break down demands from sales orders through a manufacturing hierarchy to purchase orders. Just a very short overview. First of all, I want to show you the item hierarchy that I made and I have a filter on description. So you can see I have made an allo rim, which is a purchase item on the lowest level. And it goes into my allo front wheel and allo back wheel, which are new items. And those goes into a bill of material in my city bike allo rim. And I've placed sales orders on the top level item. Now I want to calculate the demand for my lower level purchase items. Doing that, I go into the planning worksheet. The planning worksheet is the worksheet if you use manufacturing. If you only want to plan on purchase items, you could use the requisition worksheet, but it wouldn't break down hierarchies. From the planning worksheet, I can calculate a total plan, and I need to enter a starting date, ending date, maybe forecast if I want to calculate including forecast, and in this case, I want to add location filter. So with this settings, I will calculate the complete plan for all my items on location symbol one, which is called, of course takes a while. This functionality of MPS and MRP planning is very complex. So this is just a very short overview. Here I can see all my planned item. Those are planned in low level order, meaning the top level items first. And even though it looks like they are in order of item number, I can scroll down and see that I have other items further on with smaller numbers because they are purchase item. So here we come to, for instance, my rim, etc. I can filter on description to see my items that include the allo, just to show you that small extract of this planning list. And here I have one planning line. I'll just delete this filter or remove it. Planning line on this purchase item, I can see here the item number, I can see it's a purchase item, the quantity it suggests that I buy with the setup I have made, etc. And from here I can select, uh, set a check mark in the accept action messages, and then I can carry out action messages, carry out action messages, and I have to define what to do with my different kinds of orders. In this case I want to make purchase orders, which is the setting here. And when I carry out now, it will remove the line from my planning worksheet and actually create the purchase order. So if I go to my purchase orders now, purchasing, purchase orders, the last created order, I could filter here in descending order. And my last order here is the allo export, the order I just created on 280 pieces, and it's ready to send to the vendor.